Hi, I'm Dr. Yenning Liang in the um, Toronto area. Today I want to talk about how people who's got an uh, eye turn or a cross eye uh, see out of their eyes. So um, there are different examples of eye turn. Some people have the eyes turned out, some people have the other eye turned in, and some people have the eye turned out only sometimes or turned in sometimes. And then other people would have it turn out only after a certain distance, like 20 centimeter, 30 centimeter, or 50 centimeter. So every case is different. So I want to talk about two cases. For example, this uh, child never had surgery. I see these children every week in my office all the time. Um, and she's got a constant left eye turn. So the eye turns out. And a lot of the times, she's using her right eye. And then only when you cover her right eye, then the left eye moves in and focuses on the target. And then the brain will communicate with the left eye and say, hey, you know, this one's taking a break, you gotta do the job now. Um, but there are some cases when the two eyes are working together. In her case, it was when it's closer to 25 centimeters. So she can actually pull it in a little bit. Um, and see, uh, you, you see that she's using her two eyes, but one eye could be more blurry than the other, and we call it lazy eye. And then there's another case, an older child, he's had surgery done, so the eye looks perfectly aligned. You couldn't tell that he's got an eye turn. Um, and for a lot of people, and that's good enough. Um, however, um, when you test him, he's actually not using both eyes at the same time. So uh, he's alternating between the right eye, but you couldn't tell because the magnitude of the change is really small. But his brain is selecting right eye and then selecting left eye, selecting right eye and then selecting left eye, and then just alternating all the time. And this is for uh, the further distances. Um, for daytime, it's okay, especially uh, for driving, it's still okay. Uh, he's got visual memory, he's got visual anticipation to help him get around. But at night time, uh, when your peripheral is um, a little bit harder to see in darker conditions, he cannot rely on that. So it could pose some dangers for driving. So um, for both of these cases, they're actually uh, benefiting them to see a vision therapy optometrist. It could help them uh, see one again and use both eyes together at the same time. So. Uh, vision therapy can help both of these cases to reduce future dangers, keep them more safe, and minimize the chance of concussion in the future. Thank you for listening. If there's any questions, you can check out my webpage below. It's wardenoptometry.ca. Thanks. Bye-bye.